First, I must say to Marnie, that was a remarkable introduction. I'm honored to be here, and I'm honored to call her a business associate and a friend. So I'm Debbie Cox, RxCBD, and I have a perfect introduction to our company and our products, and that's where we're going to bring on stage one of our customers. One of our customers is a retired seeing eye dog that lives in Indiana. Her name's Nellie, and her mother Lisa is here as well. So let them tell the beginning of my story. She started having some mobility problems. She had stiffness in her joint. She would trip. I, I took her to the vet and they prescribed Meloxicam, Deramax. They all made her very violently ill and she ended up hospitalized. She now uses a wheelchair. Nellie got down so bad with her arthritis and uh, the problems from her uh, degenerative discs in her spine. She just laid down and she wouldn't get up. So I would you know, deliver her meals to her in bed, but she wouldn't eat them. One thing the vet told me that, you know, when she doesn't want to eat, you know it's time. So I called the vet to make an appointment to have them come to my home to, to have her euthanized. And, you know, it was a really horrible decision to have to make. They told me that it would be a week's wait so in that time, my brother brought over a bottle of the RX CBD oil for me to try. And I wasn't hopeful that anything would help at this point. But I, I gave it to her. And in three days, she was able to stand long enough to get out to the backyard to go use the restroom. At day seven, Nellie went to the front door instead of the back door, which means she wants to go for a walk. So I got her wheels out there and, you know, Tried to get her hooked in, and she took off without me. If there's anything to cheer for, it's got to be Nellie Dog, isn't it? So let me share with you, we have multitudes and multitudes of testimonials just like that, equally as dramatic as what's happened with Nellie. That's what drives our business. So what are we? We are RxCBD, the most comprehensive, comprehensive and effective line of CBD pet therapeutics available. There's many problems that plague our furry friends that are not resolved by traditional remedies. This is an enormous opportunity sector and market sector for companies such as ours. I'll cover a few categories. One of them is the elder dogs, like Nellie that you heard from. Another category is anxiety. Many pets are plagued, plagued with anxiety, especially shelter pets. Over seven million animals a year arrive in shelters and many are unadoptable because of anxiety issues, and we're changing the needle on pet adoptions across the U.S. with our products. In addition, seizures. The seizure category is something I'm gonna talk about later, but this is also dramatic. We've got a 95 percentile and above in treating seizure cats and dogs successfully. Qualifications, my team is hard science. We have decades under our belt of entrepreneurship, we also have decades of experience in the animal product industry. Shout out to a couple of my team members out in the audience, Chris, my co-founder, Kevin here from Denver, and Kayla. We use our science to establish leading quality control and quality insurance across the board for our products. These are samples of some of the triple level laboratory tests we do. So now this is the fun part. This is the science part. What is CBD? It's cannabidiol. Cannabidiol is an oil that com comes out of the industrial hemp plant. And it's legal. Lots of people have been asking me that. It's legal and it's non-psychoactive. 
Here's another interesting thing. CBDs occur naturally in all mammals' bodies. So it's whether it's your pet or you, we're simply supplementing what's already in your body with a plant or phyto form. Now we might ask, are all industrial hemp plants created equally? Absolutely not. We're lucky enough to be here in Colorado. And here in Colorado, we were one of the first states to legalize the cultivation of the industrial hemp plant. What does that mean? That means we have the absolute best genetics, world scientists, and agriculture and farmers right here in Colorado. And that's the opportunity that RxCBD is taking advantage. If you look at those two photos in the slide, those are actually a farm and a group of scientists we're working with right now on the Western Slope. Treats, another one of my favorites. We are the only company the only company in the US to create a cat CBD treat line and extract line. Not only do we have one line, we have four lines. So we're exclusive in this. We also make dog treats. The big bone you see back there is brand new. And here's an amazing thing. It's so effective that it has a 95% reorder right now. And we'll be soon working with our patent attorney to file a patent on the formulation of this particular treat. Another category is extracts. The blue bottle you see in the center there, that's what Nellie was taking. Also have a kitty extract. We're gonna go on and talk about extracts and seizures in a few minutes. Sales, pretty good growth curve. We've been selling for two years and it keeps going up. And there's something very important about this curve. This is with no advertising, none. It's word of mouth. Customer trends are equally as remarkable. 63% of our customers are repeat users. And of our new customers, 50% are referrals. Some pretty great math. Let's look at the macro view of the whole industry, shall we? There are tens of millions of families in the US that have pets in their homes. Of these, there are, there are many, many that need assistance that aren't being achieved with traditional remedies. So this is our market. I wanna really dial down here and give you an example of CBD in Colorado and what that growth could possibly look like. Does anybody here remember Charlotte's Web? Not the book, but does anybody remember the, the Charlotte's Web product? A few of you from Colorado. So 2014, Colorado hit the national news along with CBD and its effective, effectiveness in creating and helping children with seizures. A little girl named Charlotte Fiji came to Colorado. This little girl had 300 grand mal seizures a week, which chokes me up. After treating this little girl with CBD, it was reduced to two to three seizures a month. That product went on to be named Charlotte's Web. And the Colorado company that makes Charlotte's Web, just a few years later, is now a $30 million company. Can you? Are you guys hearing me OK? Yeah. Oh, well, cool. Then I'll keep going. <laughs> More helpful? Oh, lovely, somebody should have called out on that. <laughs> anyway, this documentary featured Charlotte, Charlotte Fiji that I just mentioned. And this company, this Colorado company, is now a $30 million company. So here's the part I really wanted you to hear, is that RxCBD is poised to be the next Charlotte's Web in the pet space. Now we're really put our feet back on the ground Here's my co-founder, we're in the kitchen in Montrose. We use a rental facility. We've been working hard the last couple months and we think we can increase production by two, two to three times in this kitchen. However, if you look at the growth curve of what happened with Charlotte's Web, the other Colorado company, you'll see that two to three times isn't gonna get us where we need to go. So that's where I wanna talk to all of you guys about scaling. That's where we need help. 
Just take a second here to let you know our distribution channels. We sell to almost all 50 states online. We've also established three retail categories that are highly successful. With a little bit of advertising, any one of these categories could increase exponentially. And I might point out specifically, there's the veterinarian offices are an amazing opportunity for us. So here we go, getting to the end. And I have a couple takeaways that I'm very hopeful that you all will bring with you. Number one. Colorado is sitting at the epicenter of a gold rush. And it's not a precious metal anymore, it's CBD. This state is poised to launch some multi, multi million dollar or billion dollar companies. Leaders in the industry are giving us 36 months to establish market leaders, so it's moving fast. I'd also like another takeaway for you to be that Team RX CBD have been working on these products for years. We're leading anyone in the country, both with our science and our product development. So I hope after this that you can all give it some thought to how you can help RxCBD, one, stay in Western Colorado, and two, how you can help us scale. We're looking for a strategic partner or partners that can help us grow at the rate that this industry deserves to grow. Thank you much for your time. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.